Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod in which we're playing, of course, as that big old Germany. Last time we had a really extremely successful invasion of the UK. Took them out and created the English national state, and of course Wales, and then these guys, and then uh, Norman Porter under the Orange Free State, which we will go to war in this episode, hopefully, Douglas Hyde, uh, with Ireland, with hopefully the USSR, Hopefully, we will definitely go to war with Sweden. Actually, can we go to war with them now? We probably can. Yeah, let's go and get ready to go. Uh, we don't have our soldiers here yet, so let's just let time go on. I did ask you guys yesterday, though, what we should do with Africa. And you guys came up with a lot of suggestions. Uh, but this is pretty much what it looks like. It's pretty much exactly the same, but I did want to make sure that we kept Madagascar for uh, reasons. Because I'd like to put some people there. But, alright, uh, so I gave Italy pretty much all the Horn of Africa. And just because I thought it would be appropriate, we still kept... Well, I guess, yeah, we still kept Socrata, so this, this way we still have some sort of naval base over here. I gave uh, Egypt all of this as well, just because they had this as Corsets, and I don't want to do with resistance. I gave Italy some more of this territory. Uh, I suppose I could give Italy this stuff as well. I guess that would make more sense to let Italy, Italy take care of this stuff. Um, you know what? I'm, actually, you know, they can have Jerusalem. They can have all this territory in Jordan. I'm not really super interested in this area right now, and uh, even though it would be kind of cool to make the state of Israel, but whatever. For this stuff, I'll give it to Italy, because they can deal with all that stuff. I don't want to deal with the Middle East. I really don't. There you go, Italy. Happy birthday, I guess. Sh Sharon? Huh. Sharon? Very cool. But we're going to keep the uh, the Suez Canal, because that would be, be pretty important. Oh. Oh, crud. Uh, there's still stuff I always miss. There's a lot of small little states here. I'll go with that, too, because we don't really care about it right now. Cool. Other than that, paying off the MEFO bills. Had we rearmed in the traditional manner, Britain and France would have become aware of our large deficit spending. In addition, we would not be able to borrow funds due to the low interest rates. To get around these problems, Hal Jalmar Schacht formed the Metallurgische Forschungsgesellschaft, the fake company to distribute these MEFO bills to arms manufacturers, we would be able to convert them to new Reichsmarks whenever they wished. After five years' time, after five years, the time has come to pay the companies the money they deserve. The scheme worked. Nice. And we need to pay off a lot of bills? Totally fine with us. We have a lot of debt here. And when the technical we're not done yet, paying off all the bills. We need to pay off a lot of people when we put power when we're done. Return Greek lands? Oh, also we, with Greece. Uh, I, I kept Crete to... Oh, wait, what is... Oh, well, actually... I guess this is it. Just because I gave all the territory to whomever they wanted it to, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave it, like, this territory, I gave it to Bulgaria because they were here anyways. I'm pretty sure I gave this to the Italians. Did they release? Yep, they released Greece as a puppet state. So they got Crete, because when we saw earlier, Italy had Crete, but they gave it to them, I guess. Um, whatever, I mean, that's their puppet, so. Not bad, and yeah, we've got a couple comments to go through as well. I know I messed up here a little bit, this looks really kind of ugly. But, oh well, it is what it is. And as much as I want to, I, we can't form any, or release any other countries. Which really, 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 really sucks. Because we have no option to. So, even though I do want to release, as someone did say in the comments, like South Africa, or even the Boer Republic or the Boer State, we can't kind of do that, even though we still have the Republic of Zimbabwe here, which I don't know why it's called the Republic of Zimbabwe. That, does, that seems very inappropriate here. But anyways, I'd love to form like a South African state or the Boer Republic. But I guess, you know, we, we're not allowed to. We're literally not allowed to. Um, it sucks, but let's, you know, let's go try to do this as well. There you go. That's going to take a while to get rid of, but that's okay. Blut, Blut und Boden. Next up, what shall we do? We shall do Operation Vesa Ubung Finland. Take down the Bolshevik menace. Oh, we just go straight to war with them. That's kind of cool. Alliance with Turkey would be kind of nice as well. But we're running out of the focuses to do, so... I guess we we'll do light cruiser effort. Light cruisers are somewhat easy to make and are powerful enough to fight against enemy screens. Why not? Cool. First comments. I should have kept Britain united. I actually, after the last episode, I actually did look up what Hitler would have done with Britain or the United Kingdom. And he, and what he would have done is just kept, like, pretty much have made a gross... Rex Commissari, gross Britannia, probably. And you kept everyone actually united to be kind of like a second... Kind of second-rate empire in which uh, they could just focus on their empire over the seas while Germany focused on the continental matters. So, actually, I really should have kept them all together. I really should have. But it's a little too late now. But if I ever play this again, we'll definitely, definitely, definitely keep them all together. So, let's stop training, and let's get ready and repair. And you guys too. Because you guys are actually good enough to do whatever we need to. And do that. And then you guys uh, do that too. Actually, why do we have two of you guys here? Just... Yeah, that's fine. 
Actually, you're good enough. I'll just go here too. Why not? Screw it. All of you guys are up there, and do that, and then do that. Because Denmark is with us, and we have our ships here. Where are these guys? They're on the line against the Soviets, which is nice, which is fine. Go ahead and train as well, because you're going to need that. We're going to need very good infrastructure. Oh my gosh. Eventually, too. So, go and build, build, build. We could use some more military factories, but building this up first is going to be super, super important. Get some radar around here. Get some more air bases, because oh my gosh, there are literally no air bases around here. I'm glad we're looking at that, because we'll, by the end of this, episode, we'll be at war with them, so that'd be fine with us. And what do we have out of production? Probably artillery, which is not looking so very good, but whatever. It ought to do with our consequences. All right, let's go right in and call everyone into the war. It must sucks for Gustav V, but oh well. Uh, someone asks, what is the USSR AI doing? All I really don't know. Um, they're probably just building up still, but actually, let's take a look. Let's take a look. You also have Stalin, 6 million manpower, probably 6.5 million, really. They're on uh, service bar requirements, so they might actually be mobilizing more. Up to 341 divisions, 6 million manpower, stockpile, I'm sure, is a lot of stuff. Never mind about that infantry equipment. Okay, then. And there's also another comment for me to keep doing the spy stuff, so we will. So we shall. Just so we can learn about Soviet divisions and such. So. Well, and we're calling all of our allies in, which is nice. Cool. Go on in, guys, if you can. Using tanks to invade is not always a good idea, but support brigades. We need some brigades to support our frontline troops, such as engineers, radio men, and field hospitals. Makes sense. No, thank you. And we've gone in and invaded. Cut these guys off if you can. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely need some supplies. And we've got them. We've got the supplies. Help out, help out. And you guys, attack them here. Good, good, good. And I'll send all of you guys to stop doing that. And have your way with the Swedes. Because it is May 1st. We'd have a less than a month to take these guys out. We'll see what happens. I still want to take them out before on June 6th. But at this point, as we've kind of established already, this is not very historical, but it is what it is, whatever. Uh, if you want to, actually go there first. That makes so much more sense to go there first. Come on. Hey, nine divisions are encircled. That is super bueno. Ah, in America, your divisions. Your, um... Axis, Peli, Christian, Legions. Nice. Ooh, telling boys go bye-bye. But su Swedish subs go die now. Got some of that. Let's grab some of that, too. We definitely need better guns before we take out the USSR. Actually, for our divisions... Do these guys have logistic companies? No, they don't, which is a probably a huge mistake. Probably a massive mistake. How many Swedes have we killed off? Only 91,000? Oh, PewDiePie's grandfather. I'm sorry, but not really. Oh, Italy invaded the, uh, the oh, island. Lots, lots of convoys died. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to hit the, that date, J June 6th. I wonder if we just go to war with them, and uh, I wonder if they'll just like ram into our line a whole bunch. They actually might. Our guys are probably not super, super strong. Actually, how many divisions are over here do we have? Because we do have enough, enough allies that this will probably be okay. We need way more equipment, though, probably. Yeah, we need way more artillery, but I don't really care. Whatever. That's fine enough. But what I am worried about a little bit is planes. Never mind. We have plenty of planes, probably. There you go. Uh, air bases, though. That's something that does worry me, though. Army 5. There you go. And your army what? Oh, five as well. Okay, there you go. And you guys do one, two, three, four. Boom. Oops, I apologize for my clicking. Apparently, it's late at night, and I can't think. Cool. And you guys go right there. And we do want to go to Ireland as well. Are we justifying anybody? I believe we are. We're justifying on Portugal, actually. So that'll be cool. Yeah, we definitely won't be able to hit the thing by January 6th, but that's okay. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Someone recommends we continue to upgrade the Air Force and Navy. Someone also said it won't really matter for the Navy too much just because, well, we're already pretty far deep. But lessons from the Panzer Schule Kama. The Kama Tank School, constructed in the Soviet Union after the Treaty of Apollo, was a military base in which our high command and engineers could test new tank designs. We should apply some of that knowledge. And... Regarding upgrading the, our, the Air Force, yes, that's probably actually really, really, really necessary, just because while we have quite a few things, quite a few planes to play with, it's not nearly enough that we need. Can we actually defend against the Soviets with just this army? Probably not. I'm thinking probably not. But let's see. 
We need definitely to upgrade our planes. I forgot about the planes, so my bad. America, please. I love your Christian, hardcore Christian soldiers, Pelly, but we'll be okay. Maybe. Um, there you go. And duplicate you guys because I don't care about the airbase because it's going to get upgraded anyways. And go right there too. And then... There you go. And then one. Because I want a lot of planes for this. I really just want to bait the AI and just attacking us. So, two, three, four. Tons and tons and tons and tons of planes. Oh, you guys. There you go. I'll go right there. That's fine. Whatever. Don't really care too much. Yeah, it's already June 8th. Whatever. Uh, can you guys go any faster than this? This seems kind of slow, at least in my opinion. Actually, can we... No, we cannot do it. Actually, we should probably continue paying off the bills. We we'll only have so much time. Oh, Denmark, are you... Actually, can we create Rex Commissariat uh, Scandinavian? That actually would be really cool. Hopefully we can. We might actually do that by the end of this. Yeah, you guys are taking a long booty time to do this. What is wrong with you all? So who's in the Soviet Union? Mongolia intended to, but that makes sense. The Japanese are still trying, which makes sense. I'm glad they're still fighting each other, but that's just so much of a mess. Just a gigantic mess. Guys, please keep going. You guys are more than fine. Um, so after this, I might just go to war with these guys anyways. The down, Take down the Bolshevik menace. Now is the time we can finally rid of the Soviet Union. By eliminating socialism in the West, we can ensure security for our nation. As Sweden dies. 1v1, I wonder who can win. Um, actually, if we're doing that, we need to stop training immediately. Because we've got 75-ish divisions here, so we'll see what happens. We're probably going to get crushed pretty hard around here, though. Hmm. I don't want to take these guys out, too. Well, if that's the case, Poland... Poland, not Poland. Poland's dead. Poland's long dead. Portugal first, and then go back up there. Oh, we still have those light tanks, too. Um, hmm... You know what? Let's split you guys up. You will go over here. And since we're here, let's go ahead and not do that focus because I want to make sure we have enough time to uh, not assimilate. But make sure we got enough soldiers and entrenchment for what we really need. So, so that'll be good. So we'll do that one soon after we do one more focus first. One more. Heavy cruisers. Now, I'll do plain stuff. Uh, fighter research. Better fighters are instrumental in securing the air for our bombers. Makes sense. Other comments. Do more spy stuff. I think I already said that, but yeah. Someone recommends we do more spy stuff. Happy July 4th. And, oh, do we actually... Uh, someone said we did not do... Well, let's do that one first. Did we not actually do the racial laws? Racial theory? Racial policies? No, we did racial laws. Developer note, there will be no further mention of the Nazi racial policy. But what about the Jews, man? We all love Jews. What? What? Man, I, I got Madagascar for a reason. Just saying. We want to make sure that they have a nice place to be. Let's pay off more bills. But yeah, there really aren't any laws here. So, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Paradox can't do too many crazy things. Occupation of Sweden. Return Greek land. Um, yeah, we're keeping them. Spanish land? I'm not sure what we have that was Spanish, to be honest with you. So, it is what it is. But whatever. And Sweden. Must be occupied completely by our forces. I don't know if we can actually form Rex Commissar yet. Scandinavian. I would love to. I would really love to, but I don't think we can. Which is really disappointing. So, it is what it is. But I'm sure that's modest still in development. This is like on beta point, 0 0.1, so it's pretty, still pretty early in development. And I understand that the mod team is actually pretty, star, pretty darn small, too, so... Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that bug. Gustav, you're still leading. The Swedish army, huh? They love fascism here. Cool. Actually, how strong is Norway? Maybe if we kept them, actually, we might have been able to form it, but whatever. There should be an option for you to do that. Get ready. We'll probably don't need too many other people to actually help out with that, so. Uh, there you go. Hey, now, actually, this group is look, looking not too bad. Are you guys good? In, you know what? Keep training, then. Keep training for now. We're going to need as many people trained as possible. Uh, 1,200 fighters. One, two, three, four. There you go. And, uh, 700, 500, 500, 500, 500. Any person? Invisible ink. 
Nice. We have a lot of experience. I mean, it makes sense for us. Why we have so much experience already. Uh, we'll probably, we will probably need to trade with them. Just do some of this stuff to you. That's fine. Get some more fuel. And actually, since we're here, get, get a few more of these too. There you go. Alright, I guess we're ready to go. We'll see what we can do. Norway's going to be kind of a pain in the butt probably, but that's okay. We have a lot of allies. The Gloma defense line. Lots of lag. What is this? The Gloma defense line? Oh, I'll slend it. We should do relatively okay. How many medium tanks do we actually have? We're actually looking extremely good on artillery now. It was like minus 6,000 earlier, but 3,600. After this, we're going to convert all of our medium tanks to... All of our tank divisions to using medium tanks instead of light tanks from here on out. That'll be smart, probably. Cool, not bad. And not too difficult. Republic of Finland. Oh, yeah, Sweden. We just took you out, but yeah. Sure, we'll skip. accept your stuff. Uh, what do we want to do next? Really, I think we're just pretty much ready to do this one. Let's just do it. Who cares? I really want to see how strong the Soviet Union is. Since we give them just a few extra months to build up. A few extra months. And we should have maxed out uh, soldiers for this stuff. And just in case, I'm not going to I'm not gonna call in our allies just yet. So, I want to see just Germany versus Soviet Union. Who will be able to win? There goes the convoy, especially since we're still at war with Norway. So, Alright, we go to war with them. They don't attack us. Finland begins a continuation war. Finland has sent us a message saying that within a few days, they'll join a war against the USSR. Their stated aims are to avenge the Winter War, secure the pre-1940 territories, and attempt to establish a presence in East Karelia, a welcome ally. Cool. Alliance with Turkey? With our ongoing war with the Russians, we should form an alliance with Turkey to present Moscow with a third front. Are they not going to attack us? That sucks. I kind of doubt we can do it that well against these guys, so we're going to hold off. I mean, I guess if our allies really want to join the war too, so be it, whatever. I really wanted us to just be us and them, but it's all, it's all right, whatever. It's all right. Oh, well, our allies are wanting to attack. I don't think you guys can really are able, really able to win, guys, so... I don't mind supporting you in your attack. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to work out that well for us. And they join the war as well. Fine, if everyone wants to join, so be it. Wow, this is very laggy. Should just wait to use my tanks. But we have these tanks too. They're not that good though. Hmm. I mean, if we try to general attack, it probably won't go that well. Eh, it's going a little better than I thought it would, actually. Down here, it's not too bad. I mean, if we just do. Yeah, over here is really god awful. So over here, just kind of hold. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Really, don't worry about it. Anything important? Yep, infantry expert. And got... Yeah, go for it, just Buster. Up here, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Small little attacks. Over here, I'm not too worried about this. This looks pretty good, actually. Uh, sure, guys, if you want to come in, that's fine. Sink some uh, convoys. Wow. That's a lot of rubber we have now. Well, losses. That's a lot of losses. Got up a lot of those. Yeah, I did 40,000 casualties. I'll wait for the tanks. Let's wait for the tanks. Look what's happening over here. Hopefully some good stuff. Hopefully we beat up Norway first. I'm not surprised they really aren't attacking us. Yeah, we just don't have enough divisions on there. Turkey refuses our alliance. The Turks who refuse our offer to the alliance preferring to maintain their neutrality. We'll still have to face the Soviets on one front for now. Doesn't really matter to me. If that's the case, we might just kill them off later anyways. Bring in plunder factories. We can move industrial equipment from occupied territories to Germany. However, our enemies may not have made it easy. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do a focus for now because we got to pay this stuff off fast. So I want to get this stuff done quickly. So we're not going to do a focus from here on out for now. Are they actually attacking us a little bit? Oh, look at that. It's kind of nice. Of course, if we take too much territory, wars upon us, then they will get um, some sort of buff to each one of the core territories. So it is what it is. Actually, we did enough damage to them. We could have just killed them off probably with all that extra... Um, Equipment. So, all that comes include we should make TNO Africa borders. I would love to, but we kind of already made them anyways. That's what that was why I wanted to go to war with Portugal. So, take the territories. Luxembourg apparently in our time was annexed into Germany after they fell. So I didn't know about that. That's actually really cool. That's actually really really cool. Oh, uh, these guys are gonna definitely need some help. It's all right. Hey, we're gonna war with them too. Why not? Better guns. Nice. Let's grab some of that. Breakthrough soft attack. Yes, please. Can you guys actually win? 
I'm gonna go to war with these guys and call everyone else in. Cool. And this is historical in some timeline. So I'll keep joking about this is not historical at all. But someone said, like, this is a funny thing. Yeah, in some timeline, this, this is somewhat historical. And we are 40 combo with, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can do well. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodbye, Norway. But now I think we gotta help out the uh, finish front. Cool. There you go. Next one. Oh. Raise SS Mountain Division Nord. Division Eugene Prince. Prince Eugene. And SS Calvary Division Florian Geyer. Cool. So, where's the thing about... Ah. No? Nothing else? Okay. So, you guys, would you like to join our alliance? Justify War Goal. That would be really bad for them. Nope. Look, doesn't look like it. So, here we go. I'm going to send you guys right here. Oh, they have a ton of divisions, don't they? Cool. We'll go up to here. More radar, please. Thank you. Okay, guys. You don't need to waste your manpower. Sure, that's fine. Get down there. And how are we doing against Portugal? We're looking pretty okay. Not great, but pretty okay. Yeah, we're going to get them all killed off, which is nice. Tanks are almost down here. They do have a lot of divisions. But we'll see what happens. Oh, watch out. Those people have been called in. No one really cares, though. And we'll get you guys and go right there. You are taking your sweet time, but we'll see what happens. And we go. Cool. So, in exchange for territory in Africa, I'm going to give this to the Spanish state. There you go. You can form my beer if you want. In the meantime, I'll take the islands. And we'll give that to the French state next. Uh, there you go. There you go. And we're going to take this stuff. Because we want it. Yeah, we've all this to do as well. And I'll take that. Makes sense. Cool. Anything else? India. Actually, where's India? I don't think India did too much here, but that's alright. Is that British North America? Denmark? Oh god, what's the flag of India? Is that it? Tag log state? Oh, Jim and Raj, there you go. What's next? The Azores. Ah, just take it all. There you go. Goodbye. So you guys head on over next to Ireland. Oh, we have, uh, well, we have enough PP for that, which makes sense. Whatever. Alright, guys. We really don't need to see that stuff for now. We actually might not get enough PP to get rid of these guys. Come on, tanks. So what's going on? Oh, they released him as a puppet. Okay. Francisco Raulo Preto. No thanks, guys. No thanks. Oh, they're actually attacking us a little bit. We could try a general attack, maybe. But I really want to get these guys over there. I think we have enough to try this. So, there you guys. And then you guys. Come right here. Go right on in. And if it's successful, we'll probably, we might do a general attack, maybe. We'll see what happens. Help out, help out. And you guys help out here, too. There we go. Guys, please stop giving me your crappy divisions. Please. I don't want to see these crappy divisions at all. Come on, be successful. They do have a lot of manpower. We might just be able to push in now. They're shuffling their line. Let's try it. Well, this is going to be very costly, but this is why we've got so much manpower right now. You guys, force it to go. Force it to go. No, you guys go there. Go, 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 go. Overall, not too great in some areas. Really not too great. We do have enough air power, though, for now. 13 up here, over here. 20 is very nice. I got 2,600 planes in the air. That's a lot. Come on, tanks. Keep. Oh, my God. You guys are so slow. Hey, we overran a few divisions. That's pretty nice. The main front's looking pretty bad. We're going to lose a lot of guys. They've already... Wow. And again, they have a lot of manpower, so it isn't... it's really no surprise, so... It is October, so fighting these months right now is probably really god awful. Okay, so we haven't paid all these stuff yet. 
Um, okay, so we'll see what happens. I wonder what happens if we can't pay it all off yet. Hmm. Nice. We just overrun them. Well then. If we could win right there and encircle them, that'd be really, really good. We can't become a spy master because we don't have enough PP. And those guys would die. Oh, oh, we got defeated, so now they won't die. God dang it. Well, we've killed off. Jesus Christ, 1.3 million. Wow. Wowzers. Uh, up here is a very marshy, very bad to fight around here. So we'll fight around here, maybe instead. Why don't you guys just stop and refocus yourselves? Let's get some more artillery. Everyone hold and reform yourselves. Oh, I forgot about you guys down here too. That's fine. Well, we've done very well so far. Give us some time, slight, some slight time to get some more planning done. Oh god, we really could use some logistic companies. I forgot to do that. These guys are too huge for this, really. Um, yeah. Well, we're going to suffer from supply issues anyways. Keep going on then. Doesn't matter how many losses we take. As long as they can't replace our losses, we should be okay, right? Trying to pay off our debts as fast as possible, too. Move towards a war economy? So they got more manpower now. Plenty of fuel. Now that's good to get. We could grab that, but let's grab some uh, cast because that makes more sense to get right now. Uh, let's upgrade them. Two, 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 two. Yeah, up in the north. We're doing actually really well. Really well in the north. Center is okay. The south portion is really bad, though. How many guns do they have? That's my question. They have... They're out of guns. Okay. What's the case? Let's move down here a little bit more. Well then. Not too bad. It's kind of like Operation Sea Line. Not too bad. Initially, not great. And the fins are slowly losing, but whatever. And we're slowly overrunning all the enemies here. How, can we see how, how much manpower they have deployed? They have up to 356. Uh, there probably is a way to see. I don't really know. Infantry, special forces, support companies, artillery 8 out of 38, land auction, human wave auction, they went down. So, I guess technically they do have 2 million in the field right now. How many do we have, actually? 2.8 million. We actually have a bigger army right now. I mean, we are overrunning some of them, so. And we are fighting the AI, so what do you expect? Oh, we actually lose some stuff there. Oh, back up it. Well, we're trying to pay off our debts as fast as possible. We'll see what happens. Armament debts. Oof. Oof. Actually, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad, actually. <laughs> get some of that, too. And get some more air bases up here. It looks like there's a lot of places that can have better air bases. Even maybe some better infrastructure, like over here or here. I mean, even though we're doing really, really well right now. And it's pretty much the middle of November. Near the end of November. It's getting more, more winterized right now. Yeah, something like this. I would definitely like to see what Paradox has in store for when uh, the new DLC comes out, whenever it comes out, of course. Uh, how Operation Barbarossa will go, just because that'll make or break Germany, probably. I mean, because right now, I know this is for Calm Before the Storm, and we're still using the Paradox AI, of course. But we're running out of fuel, which is interesting, but we do have America, so oh, it doesn't really matter to me. We've only taken 300,000 casualties, and the Soviets have taken roughly 4, 4 million. The Hungarians are doing their part, 4 and F. A uh, thousand have died from the Hungarian hands. Finns are doing okay as well. And we're just overrunning enemies. Oh, no, look, we're back in deficit for this. And motorized too, huh? Motorized, huh? Thought we are doing pretty well for those groups. Alright, how's the air, air war going? Not bad. Really not bad. Not sure what else to say. More tanks? Alright, you guys head on in too, I guess. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Oh, God, Japan, why'd you go to war with the Christian Commonwealth? Oh, we're not ready for that. We are not ready for that. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting that. I was really not expecting that. Yeah, I guess if we're at war anyways, let's just let everyone come on in. I was not expecting Japan to go to war with America. It is December 10th, so I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess we have another front to do, which means there's probably one more episode in this campaign. Oh, Japan, why? I mean, I guess we, I'm, I'm glad we're still building up a navy. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad we're still building it up, but still. 
Because we have three really good task forces. Yeah, that's actually barely adequate enough. Um, I'll throw you guys over here first, because that's is still not great. Let's go and repair for now. You know, engage at high risk. I want I want to kill off enemies' ships. Uh, oh, were you done in the war? Oh, come on in, guys. Come on in. Crap, we're not going to be able to get this done done. We need way too much PP for this stuff. What happens if we don't pay it off? Well, that's going to really hurt industry, probably. Okay, so we've lost. Quite a few. We've killed off so many enemies. All Hitler had to do in real life, apparently, was just say, just go on in and you'll kill them all off. Even after, if you, even, if you like, start in August of 1941. So, we've only been in war for, like, six months. So, apparently, not too bad. I wonder if we can capitulate them in this episode. We probably can. I mean, the, the longer we go, the more we take out their division, so there'll be less enemies we have to deal with. So, probably. Oh, we have guys down here, too. Oh, you know what? You guys, can you head down here? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it, Heinz Guderian. What are their SS divisions? I love the SS. <sighs> ah, the Battle for Leningrad, huh? Not too bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. China? Sure, why not? We'll have a non aggression pact with you for now. Stalingrad? Not bad, not bad. They have up to 122 divisions left. Yeah, I don't know. This, hmm. I should really try this out as the Soviet Union sometime. They, they'll probably get a rework or something, maybe, but... Yeah. We'll definitely see what happens. Yeah, it looks a little sparse in terms of what you can do. 30 focuses, though. That's not bad. 20-day focuses. I do like it. Council on this. That's fine. Wars upon us. It makes sense. Free political prisoners. Soviet socialist patriotism. Not bad. Rationing programs. Fight ethnic nationalisms. Nationalism. Actually, how's the war going in the Pacific, then? Well, oh, we own these islands, too. They own Hawaii, still. Well, I guess, technically, we'll be in... Oh, hello. Japan. Going through Asia, so... Oh, they're doing naval production. We're doing the best we can, guys. We're trying to pay them off as fast as possible. Oh, and did Italy naval invade? What the heck? Cool. You guys did great. Let's grab some of that. Um, we do want to get... Oh, well, yeah. That looks so much nicer. Yeah, Republic of Bomb Zimbabwe is a mistake. Just... Just a mistake, man. Uh, we took out... Well, there's so much for the Siege of Leningrad. So much for the Siege of Moscow and Stalingrad. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got the river. It's only 42. Happy 1942. We haven't even stopped yet. Winter should be really kicking in our butts right now, but we love the Raj. Before, wait. They're our puppet. I love Rex Commissariats, even though they're not really Rex Commissariats, but okay. Nice. Very nice. Any more shippies? Uh, throw them in the middle. That'll be good. That'll actually be very, very good. We'll make sure Finley gets her uh, justice as well. Yeah, not bad. This is a bit extreme to so how good it was, I would say. But, hey, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, four divisions looking pretty sad. But two divisions are looking pretty sad, too. Oh, we can't convert one of those guys. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is, this is an SS division, looks like. It is an SS division, okay. Well. All right. Oh, we're getting close. Yeah, we definitely won't be able to pay it off. That really sucks. We're so close, too. We've already killed all six million of them. And they're like three, three quarters of the way there to capitulation. So, yeah, not bad. I thought we'd have a lot more supply issues. I thought the AI was going to be a lot better. Because people on my Discord server were telling me that calm before the storm, like, it's it's not easy to beat the Soviet Union and it has dynamic AI. And I guess it might have dynamic AI, but for my study, and we're studying this, um, it's not too dynamic, I'd say. At least for now, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. It just... Between the extremely lucky Operation Sea Lion and the Soviet Union not having any spare guns in reserve when the war starts. I'm just kind of questioning everything here now. And actually, let's do that one too. Oh, Baku's actually the capital. So everyone else in the north is cut off. Yeah, sorry for sending you down to Africa. Sorry, guys. Head on back up north. You'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. 
You guys are in Ireland. You know what? You guys head on down here too. They don't have that many divisions down here, so. Death of Fritz Tot. Oh no, Mr. Atlantic Wall. Fritz Tot, the Reich's Minister for Armaments and Ammunition, has just died in a plane crash near Rustenberg, East Prussia. Or Ostpreussen. In charge of infrastructure, he made sure that the soldiers got their equipment. However, in the wake of his death, Albert Speer will be made the Reich Minister for Armaments and Ammunition. Oh, we all, we all love Speer. Speer Daddy forever. Speer hoodies, please. I'm halfway tempted to make merch for just spare hoodies. That'd be so cool to make. Actually, how much more do we need besides Baku? Like, they are literally 80% of the way there. 81%. Cool. That's going to be useful, actually. Uh, since we're at war, let's, get, let's keep doing this stuff just because we're going to have to go to war with the Japanese. And our navy is actually going to become relevant once again. Actually, how good, how good is the American fleet? Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. It's still the... Oh, uh, we were so close. Build the Pentagon. All right, their fleet is not good. Really not good. How's the Japanese fleet? Really not bad. All right, you can tell it's getting laggier. Oh, in 14 days, we are just so close to getting this one done. So close. Just so close. We're literally one political power away from getting that done. Jesus Christ. Ah. Oh. How? One PP away. I should have not done the war propaganda thing then. Urgh. We are deep in the bowels of the Soviet Union. Oh my goodness. How far do we have to go? Alright. I mean, we should have maybe not justified against other people, but whatever. Oh man. Oh, promote Ernst Eberhard Hell? Yes, please. Can I spend command power instead? Please let me spend command power. That wouldn't make any sense, but whatever. Ah, we're up the Earls. They have no peace event? 87% of the way there. Come on, we gotta get Baku. Come on, guys. Let's go, 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 go. Keep going. Alright, let's pause it real quick. Get some of this? No, let's get, grab some of this. That's fine. Literally one day. Zero days. Can we go to zero days, please? Please. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. But we won't have ten more days. No. No. We were so close. We just needed ten more days. You, you, you think that Big Daddy Hitler would have said, you know what? It's okay. We're going to negotiate for another ten-day contract. In ten days, in eleven days, we'll have the stuff done. We'll have it done. We will find and use military means to destroy a cell. Uh, it's clear that covert operations will not suffice in the fight in the Chechnya. We must f try. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, I'm not sure what that does, but okay. Chechnya? Chechnya operations? Why not? Chechnyan operations, I guess. Anything else we need to know about? Well, that was really disappointing that we could not get all that stuff done. Okay. But it looks like it didn't really hurt us. We defaulted. Well, that's not great, but honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess we keep doing for our focuses then. Heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers are cheaper than battleships, but it pack a large amount of weaponry and weight behind them. Not bad. I'm probably not going to use them for this campaign, but whatever. Come, guys, let's keep going. Baku is just right over there. If you guys could just move your chubby little legs over there. We lost a third of a million. Roughly seven million. Oh, look at Japan. Yeah, we haven't done anything to them yet. We will definitely do stuff to them, but it's going to take us some time. Definitely take us some time. But please, Soviet Union, you got 26 divisions left. Just just lose. Just lose, man. Give it up. Zubovka. Z oh, Zidanov. Is that where Zidanov is from? That's got to be where Zidanov is from, right? All right, so how close are they to capitulation? They're like 96% of the way there. Where's the capital? Don't tell me it's Vladivostok. Please don't tell me it's Vladivostok. Oh, they actually naval invaded up there, too. Look at that. Uh, guys, we don't definitely don't need to decide, too. Failed operations in Chechnya. Our recent military operation in Chechnya has failed to eliminate a known cell instead. Analysis revealed that we have inflicted civilian casualties. This has only increased the morale of the Chechen and separatists. Darn. Well, oh well, whatever. Oh well. Not really too uh, dismayed by that. Send SS spies to take down a cell. 
We believe that with the location of an insurgent. So, we should send our agents to take it down and regain control of a village. I, mean, I guess. It doesn't really matter to me at this point. But after this, there's still content after this. And the focus tree apparently will change or something. And they're done. Cool. But I think I'll probably do the peace deal off screen. Just because it's going to take such a long time. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we try to take out Japan. And see what the other focus tree has in store for us. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.